Hi y'all, so today I thought I would kind of give you some tips and tricks on how to have an amazing booktubeathon. Now this is coming from a person who like unofficially did the first ever booktubeathon. I think I started like on the second day or something. And then I officially did the second and third. So I've done all three booktubeathons. I've never completed all of the video challenges, not all of the Instagram, which was new last year, I believe. And I've never completed every single reading challenge. But I've had an amazing time doing it. And in my opinion, that's like the most important part, you know? Um, blink, 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 blink. Okay. So. Okay, sorry. We had to make some light changes. Anyways, I'm driving um, back home from running an errand. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, Sonic is a big thing in the Texas like South area, and it's a diet limeade with watermelon. It's very low cal, but it is uber tasty. Um, just, just letting y'all know, um, because I've been like on a, because I've been on this weight loss journey, um, over the like past like month and a half I've lost like 15 pounds but I've never really said this to anybody who I'm not super close with um but I am clinically like obese um and I still am even after losing 15 pounds um so if anybody's like um so okay where is getting with this audiobooks are great and I'm going to use it outside when I go on my walks every single day because I, I go on a walk every single day and unless it rains in even then I still like find a way to walk even have to drive to the mall and walk in circles there um so yeah okay so TBRs let's discuss them um you don't even have to plan a TBR one okay two um I know a lot of people who are like into all the challenges and like have to get them done like that's just their personality and that's what makes their booktube on great, um, is like trying to like do these challenges is short books I've heard people do, graphic novels, um, and like audiobooks, you know, great options. I personally have some longer books on my TBR, which I will be posting after this video. Um, but yeah, oh, and you don't have to go out and buy books for booktube -thon or like have to own a lot of physical books. All of my books for BookTubeCon, including the audiobook, has come from the public library. So just throwing it out there, like use your library. And oh, last year, for, okay, let's talk Instagram challenges. You don't have to do all of them because I, I didn't. Um, but one of the ones, um, cause I was trying to do them every day I was home cause I was doing like interviews across the country and then like turns out I can't even go across the country cause I, um, airlines like, whole system crashed and so they didn't know where their planes were you know so we really couldn't leave um so I spent like all day in an airport and then drove back and um you know that was fun um but um one of the challenges was to do like a book rainbow and I had like 11 books in my possession and they weren't like enough colors to make a rainbow so I went to the public library and um like literally what I did is I went to the children's section and like grabbed books that were titled the colors of the rainbow because their covers were and I took a picture of that so you you don't have to necessarily have everything to do the challenges um like the books and stuff you can totally go to the library it's cool video challenges you don't have to make them um and you if you decide to do them you don't have to do every single one and they don't have to be these great productions because to be honest, you have less than 24 hours to make the video and upload it and enter it in for the giveaways and things. So a lot of them aren't, which makes BookTube is on a great week to start a channel if you're wanting to because you're not really expected to like be great. It's just kind of like a fun thing. And um, also, you don't even have to physically be on camera for like the majority of the challenges. Like what's, like you really, like you don't. So like if that's something you're like a little nervous about this is a good way to kind of get out those jitters and that awkwardness even though I'm still like an awkward little ducky but you know um feel free to like bend the challenges too a little if you're like 
it says to have a person on the cover and it has like an outline of a person like right like a, like an illustrated like use it like if that's what you really want to read like it's no big deal totally do it um let's see oh the thing is if you decide not to do video challenges and even if you do um watch other people's they're a lot of fun and I had more fun watching and commenting on other people's videos than I did even making them. Like, that's the reality. And it's probably my favorite part of Booktubeathon is, like, interacting with people. Twitter's friends are lovely. Um, do them when you get the chance. If you really want to do them and, like, not miss out on them, um, have the notifications to Twitter on on your phone. Um, and I think you can... Yeah, you can do it for just with Tubeathon. Have the notifications for um, Twitter on. You can turn all your other notifications off. And that way you get a little notification when they're about to start Twitter spread. It's a lot of fun. I didn't get to do the live shows last year because I was either working or driving or an airport. And so I didn't really get to watch them or participate in them. But I know they had like lots of fun games like they do on the Twitter friends. Um, so like check those out. They haven't announced the times yet. Um and make friends like this is like the most important thing you can do on booktubeathon is interact with people and like form new bonds like i can't tell you how many new channels every single year i find a lot of them are like just startups and then a lot of them are like have been around for a while and like i didn't see them till booktubeathon and then they've like become my favorite things to watch and like videos i comment on all the time and then i've kind of like forged friendships with people on twitter and things like that because I found them on Booktubeathon and we started, you know, gushing about something on Booktubeathon, like maybe a similar book we were reading, or like the fact that like we weren't meeting any of the challenges, or the, how great like one of their video ideas were, or how funny it was, or you know, just really meet with people. Like it's a ton of fun. Buddy reads are also a good thing if you can do it. Um, this would be the first buddy read I've like gotten to do on Booktubeathon. And the way you can find buddy reads, okay, uh, Goodreads groups are a great way, and I think, I think the Booktubeathon has a Goodreads group, but the Biannual Bibliothon does, and if somebody in there is reading a book that you want to read, like, you can totally do it for Booktubeathon, they can do it for the Biannual Bibliothon, and, like, you guys can have a fun time, like, they overlap this year. Um, Oh, other people's TBR videos. Like, if you see, like, they're reading a book that you're going to read, like, well, just ask. Like, hey, do you want to do it as a buddy read? Um, you'd be surprised at the amount of people who get excited, you know? And then uh, that's how I found the girl I'm buddy reading with. Like, it, this is her first book tubeathon, and she doesn't really make bookish videos, but, like, she made a TBR video, and, like, she was planning it out, and I saw that, like, um, it came up but it did and we're doing a buddy read and I'm so excited I'll link her channel down below um because she's really cute um so that's like a thing oh and like Instagram and Twitter like you can totally find people to buddy read a book and it makes it a bit more fun the other thing I will say was probably the last thing I will get into because I think I covered video challenges Instagram Okay, you can do this regardless of how much time you have. Like I said before, if you read five pages versus 20 books, it really doesn't matter. If you can only listen to an audiobook on your drive or you can only read five pages a night before bed, you can still have an amazing time. Um, especially when you're like unwinding for the night and watching YouTube videos. Because if you're watching this, you must likely have time to watch videos so you can watch people's video challenges. It's just... It's an amazing time, and it's it's an event I look forward to every single year. And if you're even considering doing it, just do it. Like, even if you can only do it for a day. Because I don't know anybody who's ever regretted doing the Booktubeathon, because it is that amazing. And that's kind of it for this. Um, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like. I'd love that. Um, but if you don't want to, no judgments. Um, and if you are doing the booktubeathon and have a TBR video 
or have made like an anticipation for the booktube is on video or something like link it below i'd love to come check it out and i will see y'all later bye y'all